is 4.5 percent of the money 15,000 is equal to the amount of investment in 3 percent stock as well as 6 percent debentures. First investment is I1 and income obtained in the second investment is I2. The total income is equal to rupees 675. So if yield is more that means my income is more. So in the second case we can see that 5 percent stock at 75 is better than the first. Hello everyone, a warm welcome to men and all. This is your Shruti ma'am lecturing in Vidya Ashram, the temple of excellence, Mysore. In this session, we are going to revise the chapter stocks and shares. So in this chapter, you will have one mark and three mark question. Let's see the distribution of marks. So you have one mark question under the section part A and three mark one question under the section part C. So in total maximum, you will get four marks from this chapter. So let's see the one mark questions. So define yield. So what do you mean by yield? Yield is the actual income on investment. So that is how much of dividend or share you will put for the given market value. So therefore you can write yield as an it is an actual income for an investment. So and it is given by the formula yield is equal to dividend over amount into 100. Also you can write it in terms of words that is income is equal to interest divided by market value into 100. Either you can write the definition or the formulas. Either you can write the definition or formulas. Next one, find the income obtained by investing rupees 3600 in 5% stock at 90. So 5% will become a dividend, 90 is the actual amount for one share and total cash is 3600. So therefore the income obtained is given by 5% stock at 90 into the total amount 3600. So which is equal to rupees 200. Next question, what income can be obtained from rupees 8000 in 4% stock? So here let's see the face value as well as income here. If the face value is 100, the interest charged or income obtained is rupees 4. If my amount is rupees 8000, then what is the income? So it is obviously 4 into 8000 divided by 100 whose value is equal to rupees 320. Next question, what rate of interest is obtained by investing 9% stock at 180? So 9% stock at 180 means income is equal to 9 by 180 into 100. So therefore it is equal to 5 percent. Next, three mark question. Sanjana invests rupees 3240 in a stock at 108 and sells when the price falls to 104. How much stock at 130 can Sanjana buy now? First, she invests the amount at the stock of 108 rupees and then when the price falls, she will sell the stock when the price falls at 104. Then after that, how much stock at 130 she can buy after receiving certain amount of money. So first, let us see how much stock is obtained by Sanjana by investing 3240 rupees. So therefore, amount invested for the stock of 108 is 3240 divided by 108 into 100. So on solving this, you will get 3000. So this is the amount of stock she has got. Now when the price falls to 104, she will sell it for 104 stock. Next question, three more questions. Sanjana invests rupees 3240 in a stock 
of 108 and sells when the price falls to 104. How much stock at 130 can Sanjana buy now? So Sanjana invests an amount of 3240 of a stock at 108. So first let's see how many stocks she can buy and after that she will sell it for when the price falls at 104. Let's see the amount received. Then from the amount how much she can invest for the stock at 130. So stock obtained. Stock obtained is equal to 3240 into 100 divided by 108. So on solving this you will get 3000 stocks. Next let's check amount received. Now she has 3000 stock. Now she is selling the stock at 104. So therefore 3000 into 104 divided by 108. So she will get rupees 3120. Next again how much stock at 130 can Sanjana buy? So therefore here the stock Sanjana can buy that is equal to 3120 into 100 divided by 130 whose value is 2400. Next question Prateek sells out rupees 6000 at 7.5% stock at 180. Eight and reinvest the proceeds in 9% stock. If Prateek's income increases by rupees 270, at what price did Prateek buy 9% stock? So first let's find the income that Prateek obtained first. So income, he has invested 7.5% stock at 6000. So therefore, so income obtained is rupees 450 and he is selling the 6000 of 7.5% stock at 108. So therefore here amount received by selling it is 6000 into 100 divided by 108 is equal to on solving this will get rupees 6480. Now they have given that after he received the money, he reinvests to the proceeds of 9% stock, but now his income is increased by 270. So his old income was 450. So therefore his new income is 450 plus 270 that is equal to 720. So we know that income is equal to divided into amount per share into cash obtained. So therefore here income is 720. So dividend is 9% stock. I don't know what is amount. Cash he has is 6480. So therefore amount is equal to 81. So therefore the stock price was rupees 81. Next one, Mr. Sandeep invests rupees 15,000 cash partly on 3% stock at 75 and partly in 6% debentures at 125. In such a way as to get a return of 4.5% for his money, how much does he invest in each? That means here his 4.5% of the money 15,000 is equal to the amount of investment in 3% stock as well as 6% debentures. So that means let me consider the income obtained first. That is 4.5% means 4.5 divided by 100 into 15,000 whose value is equal to rupees 675. So let me take his investment at 3% stock as X that is I'll take it as A1 as X then amount invested for the second stock will be 15,000 minus X. Let me consider the income obtained from the first investment is I1 
and income obtained in the second investment is I2. The total income is equal to rupees 675. So how we will calculate the income? That is 3% stock at 75 means 3% stock at 75 by the amount that is X here. And for the income too, it is 6% debentures for the remaining amount that is 15,000 minus X is equal to 675. So dividing this, we will get 0.04 X plus 0.048 into 15,000 minus X is equal to 675. So on solving this completely, Finally, we are obtained with 0.008x is equal to 45. So therefore, x is equal to rupees 5625. So x is nothing but amount 1, that is rupees 5625. Let's check for amount 2, that is the amount he invested on 6% debentures is 15,000 minus x. So 15,000 minus 5625. That is equal to rupees 9,375. Next question. Rakshit decides to invest in TCS shares which are selling at 2020 per share. How much money is required to purchase 10 shares if the brokerage is 0.5 percent? So for one share it is 2020. So for 10 shares then the amount is equal to 20,200. So therefore, brokerage for 10 shares is 0.5 divided by 100 into 20,200. So here we are left with 101. So therefore, amount or the total amount is 20,301. So therefore, 20,000 301 is the money he need to invest for the 10 shares. Next question. A man invests equal sums of money in 4%, 5% and 6% stock, each stock being at par. If the total income of the man is rupees 3,600, find his total investment. So first, they have given he is investing the equal amount of money for 5%, 6% and 4% stock and the total income is given that is rupees 3600. So that means 5% stock means I can write it as 5x by 100. Similarly 4% stock means 4x by 100. 6% stock means 6x by 100 whose total income is 3600. So here on adding it I will get 15x divided by 100 is equal to 3600. On solving this, x is equal to rupees 24,000. So this is the amount he invested in all the three shares. Therefore, the total investment. So total investment is three times this. That is 24,000 into three whose value is rupees 72,000. Next question, which is better investment, 7.5% stock at 125 or 5% stock at 75? So let's check it, 7.5% stock at 125 into 100 is equal to 6. Next we will check it for 5% stock at 75 into 100, so its value is 6.66. So yield is more here. So let me take it as I1, I2. So in the second case, the yield is more. So therefore, 5% stock at 75 is better. So if yield is more, that means my income is more. So in the second case, we can see that 5% stock at 75 is better than the first one. So these are all few questions you can expect from the chapter stocks and shares. So I'll meet you in the next session with the new chapter. Until then, keep watching, keep learning, keep exploring. Thank you.